this is Gary G. reporting for the Inland Valley News here at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum on a Thursday evening as the USC Trojans took on the visiting Washington Huskies. The Trojans came up short, losing by a score of 12 to 17. This one, at the end of the day, is on me uh, because we didn't coach well enough, we didn't execute well enough, and we didn't manage the game well enough. I guess there's nights like this where you just don't play well. You know, I, I can go back to the Stanford game. I didn't, not that I didn't feel bad for losing, but we played a better game. Tonight, we didn't play well. And in a, in a lot of phases, all three phases, we did things uncharacteristic to us. And that's my job as the head coach to get our guys prepared to play and to go out and execute and do their job at the highest level over and over and over again for four quarters. And that didn't happen tonight. And so at the end of the day, um, when you don't convert on a two-point conversion and you miss a field goal, those are, those are microcosms of the bigger picture. It was an overall uh, team loss tonight that we just didn't get it done. And uh, it starts with me, and I think now is the critical moment for our program to, to be together, to hang together, to be tight together, uh, because we're going to have games like this, and they're going to continue to come. And so we've got to be able to rally together, hang together, uh, focus on the task at hand and uh, go out and play a really good Notre Dame team next Saturday and then get back into conference play two weeks from now. Um, and we just got to get used to it. This is the way college football is right now. It's the way our conference is right now. We're going to be in tight games and we have to understand how critical execution is at the critical moments of ball games. Um, and tonight we didn't get it done. And our players deserve to be up here to, to take the questions. That you guys can get them after. That's fine. But um, you know, it, it, this, this game starts with me, and um, when we don't perform as a football team, um, the head coach has the responsibility to own up to it, and I felt like uh, it, it wasn't worthy for Cody to sit here or Sua or anybody else. You guys can ask them all the questions you want when we're done, uh, but for now, um, our team needs to be together in that locker room, and I need to sit up in front of you guys to answer the questions for our football team. It seemed like he was under, under the rest, Cody was, and was yeah. scrambling a lot. And was that him not being comfortable, or was that uh, the guys around him? I think it was a combination of things. Um, obviously, losing Max was not great for us. And Max Turk's a great player for us at center. Um, you know, when, when he went out and Toa moved to center, um, you know, sometimes there's an uneasiness. You know, Max and Cody are roommates. They've been together their entire careers here. Um, they're tight. And so maybe there's a sense of uneasiness there. They did provide enough pressure to where he had to move in the pocket. But Cody's faced pressure before. He stepped up and delivered the ball. Tonight, it just didn't happen. Cody was a little off, but I think that's, I think our team was a little off for whatever reason. And that's what I have to try to dissect and figure out. Um, you know, we, we were just, he was a little off, you know, he didn't, you know, maybe it was the first interception or the screen pass that gets intercepted, but that stuff happens, you know, that's football. Um, and there's nights when you just don't play your best, you know, it's, it's like anything, it's like any sport. There's, there's games when you just don't play your best, and Cody wasn't his best tonight, and he'll be the first one to tell you, but those are the games that you have to find a way to find a way to win, and we didn't find a way to make it happen tonight. I really don't. I, I thought we practiced extremely well. You know, I mean, we had been competitive. It was high intensity. Uh, the execution was good, and it got better throughout the week, which is exactly what you want. Um, but from the on the outset tonight, we just seemed a little off. And then what happens when you're a little off, you start to press. And start, the guys start doing things that's a little bit out of character. And you have to try to reel them back in and then calm them down and then get them back on playing the style and the brand of football that we're accustomed to. And that was the fight all game long. We had guys just doing things that were, that were a little out of character for them that we hadn't done. And offensively, you know, we had been really productive the entire season. We had just played really productive football and been that way and played good on first down. And um, tonight that didn't happen. And so we had to lean on the defense. But when you lose the turnover battle and you, you're playing field position football and you're starting inside your own 20, inside your own 10 all night, and it's hard to generate first downs and to get yards, the game went that way. And so the game got hard. And when the game gets hard, your execution is paramount to make sure you're converting those third downs to at least flop the field, if nothing else. And that was our inability tonight. We just couldn't get that done. Do one more. I'm frustrated. That's probably a better word for me. I'm frustrated because I really believe in this team, and I believe in the team aspect of this team that we're so close, we're so tight, we practice so well, 
And it's not about want to. These guys want to do well. They want to play well. Um, so the frustration comes in when we have an opportunity to seize a moment. Um, we have an opportunity to go out and play and to, to gain momentum and to continue to build and, and get forward. Um, and we don't do it. That part's frustrating to me. And so, um, you know, that's the part that's going to keep me up at night. That's the part that I have to figure out, the puzzle that I have to try to put together to make sure that we can do that moving forward. And, and we didn't get it done tonight. Is our season done? No. We're fine. We'll be okay. We'll get back on the horse. We'll play good football. I know these guys want to. Um, and there's a lot of football left to be played. And there's a lot of football in our conference left to be played. But we have to stay, hang together, stay together, work together, get better together, learn together, um, because that's what it's going to take. This, there's no magical solution or potion I get to sprinkle and it's just going to happen. It's going to take hard work and it's going to take execution. Um, and, and I don't doubt that our staff and our players are going to do that. And so I'm, I'm confident in that. I feel bad for them that it didn't happen the way they wanted it tonight. Um, but we'll work and we'll get better and, and we'll get it done.